I don't think we can really expect anything else in the V4 realm besides for a Super Legera. It's time for it. What's up guys, Paramoto here. How are you guys doing today? Today, I'm doing fantastic. We have a special video today. Today, I want to do a premiere of the 2020 Ducati lineup. Guys, this month on October 23rd to be exact, Ducati's going to release their 2020 lineup. Just after that, it's going to be at SEMA on November 5th. Give you guys a little point of reference. And I want to tell you guys about the big things that are most likely going to drop on Ducati's world premiere. And also, I want to talk about something huge that I think is going to come from Ducati for a SEMA on November 5th. Let's get to it! But first, I need to sign of the ATM. So guys, I want to talk about the most exciting things first. The things that I would want to hear about if I was a subscriber to this channel. So guys, the two things that I am really looking forward to getting dropped at the 2020 World Premiere has got to be one, the V4 Street Fighter, and two, the second generation Pentagoli 959. Truly, I would really expect a full review and release of the Pentagoli V4 Street Fighter. So guys, following Pikes Peak and Carlin Dunn's death, Ducati really went radio silent when it came down to the V4 Street Fighter, and I don't really blame them. You don't really want a brand new hotness coming from your company, which you spent millions of dollars developing, you know, getting a bad name. Carlin Dunn's death was an absolute tragedy, though. I will say that. R.B. Carlin Dunn, if you guys don't know what happened, Carlin Dunn was uh, racing Pikes Peak in which he was probably one of the most prolific riders of all times and he was uh, booking it, just cooking towards one of the last turns of one of the last straightaways, ended up having a high side crash which, which ended up leading to his death, which I mean is awful. I mean it's just one of those things that you just can't control. I think something happened like he hit a, a wet spot or something like that and it just it ended up being really bad for him. He was going probably over 200 miles an hour and he just he, he ended up killing him which is, is very sad. Ducati has been decidedly quiet on the uh, V4 Street Fighter front ever since his death for uh, I guess you just don't want a bad name going towards your one of your new flagship bikes. You know which I, I don't really blame him but at the same point it was a very sad thing to happen. I believe the, uh, the victory ended up going to the Prilia Tuano so good for them. Good for them. That's also a beast of a bike. V4 Street Fighter is going to be launched. It's gonna, we're going to have all the details. We're probably going to see initial production colorways and all the fancy things that go along with the launch for a new bike. It's huge and exciting to be able to see what the V4 Street Fighter really is going to look in the consumer market. The next most exciting thing coming from Ducati in their 2020 world premiere, which is going to especially excite people on this channel, is the brand new 2020 Pentagali 959. It's going to be the full-on Gen 2. What I would expect to see out of the full-on Gen 2, which I made an entire video about the initial reports and everything, the full-on Gen 2 is going to have aggressive V4 styling, but it's going to basically still be a 959. Honestly, what I would expect out of the brand new Gen 2 959 is you're going to have a V4 front end, a V4 mid end, and then you're going to have, I believe, the 959 tail section and a possible upgraded exhaust. It's going to be basically a 959. No reports have really pointed towards the towards a different engine or any or suspension being included in this package. It's going to be a, a mostly redesigned on the outside Pentagali 959. It's just so cool. They're trying to bring everything up to a more modern V4 styling. They're trying to integrate, adapt, and, and really just make everything look more modern and that's really what we can see out of the Pentagoli coming forward. Exciting is that the prototypes for the Gen 2 959 showed a single sided swing arm which is the first time that a smaller Pentagoli or a smaller Gotti Superbike has had a swing arm, a single sided swing arm in over 10 years. If you guys are like, Panigale to me has to have a single sided swing arm or Ducati to me has to be rocking the single sided swing arm, well you're gonna get your wish because all reports are saying that it's gonna have the single sided swing arm. All expectations are pointing towards the 959 Gen 2 to have almost a full V4 redesign and also a single sided swing arm, which is gonna be huge. It's gonna be absolutely huge, guys. If you were, uh, if you were looking to get a 959 within the next uh, f uh, three or four months, I would say just go ahead and hold off. Go ahead and hold off. Definitely watch the 2020 World Premiere and see if you would rather have the brand new Gen 2. And then we'll do a compare and contrast video on this channel of the two. But I think the, the Street Fighter and the, uh, the Gen 2 959 are probably two of the most exciting things that you're gonna see in 2020 hands down so next up let's talk about the Multistrada the Multistrada is expected to be released with a, a 1260 GT package but if you're a Multistrada fan and you're looking for a V4 Multistrada don't expect it this year all reports are saying that the Multistrada will still have a V2 and it will be generally the same thing but with a, a slightly more impressive tactical specs 
this year, but no full rehaul, which is which is kind of good if you have this or last year's model. Your model will uh, will retain value for a little bit longer. Let's talk about the Scrambler. Scrambler is expected to be released with the 1200cc S model, which is uh, aimed to directly compete with the Triumph Scrambler 1200cc bike. So. Honestly, Ducati's kind of playing catch up with Triumph in that realm. In the sport bike category, they're like blazing trails, but then in the scrambler category, they're playing catch up. They're attempting to catch up with Triumph on that side. I've never ridden a scrambler, so if you guys have ever ridden a scrambler or you have a scrambler and you live in the Raleigh area and you want to you want to lend it to me, I'd be more than happy to ride it. The monster is expected to add definitely some new colorways this year, which is going to be excited. I heard that there's going to be some uh, some uh, matte colors coming this this year, uh, but generally staying the same bike. To leave the best and most exciting for last, I'm on a multiple Ducati mailing list, and just the other day I got an email, and uh, during this email, I believe the Super Leggera is actually hinted to yet again. I don't think they're going to release the Super Leggera on this world premiere. I don't think it's going to happen. I think they're going to leave the shock and awe to the V4 Corsa Edition, Penigale, 959 Gen 2 and the V4 Street Fighter and I think they're going to save something something just, just a little bit sweeter for Encima coming up on November 5th okay because this email that I got highly hinting at the fact that something very light and something very fast is coming up new from Ducati there was mention of 178 kilograms and well over 200 miles an hour honestly I think that can only point to a Super Leggera I know there was a lot of comments on my Super Leggera video I'll put a link to that um there was a lot of comments on that video about how the people were not expecting to see a Super Leggera this year. Personally, I think you can expect to hear about a Super Leggera. There's just there's too much comments about it. There's too much uh, there's too many hints and everything. I think we're gonna see a Super Leggera this year. And I think we're gonna see it at SEMA. Because honestly, the 2020 world premiere is already Ducati's show. It's already you have a captive audience. You have people that love Ducati and want to come see Ducati stuff. But it is not in SEMA. I think Ducati wants to win in SEMA. And I think what's going to end up happening is that Ducati will win it by releasing a V4 Super Leggera. You can't deny it. You can't deny it. Like, just, just earlier this month, we saw prototypes of a V4R with all the fairings of a V4R, with all the carbon fiber of a Super Leggera, a single-sided swing arm, a, a redone suspension, a totally revamped exhaust. I don't think we can really expect anything else in the V4 realm besides for a Super Leggera. It's time for it. And I think we're going to see that in November 5th. Might see it a little bit earlier. We might. I don't know. I don't know what those wacky Italians are planning, but I think what we're going to see is we're going to see a V4 Super Leggera. It's going to be one of the biggest bombshells that gets dropped in all of 2020. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Leave a comment down below. What do you guys want to see at Ducati World Premiere 2020? They always leave something on the table for everybody. So what would you like to see the most? What excites you the most? Is the Gen 2 Panigale what you're excited about? What about the V4 Street Fighter? Let me know down below in the comments. Hit that like and subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. I'll see you guys on the next video. Deuces.